But we recording, man. I hear my man. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, we're recording now, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's been good, man. Yeah. So when 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 did we get into... So basically, I'm just going to introduce this, this video. So ladies okay. and gentlemen, this video is about... This is... Yeah. So there's my friend, and then you know we started yep. off with mentoring Kudzi. Kudzi um, was in a permanent work scheme sort of thing. Didn't like that he was putting in 40, 45 hours, I guess, and not really getting the the value and the profit that you should be getting from it. Basically, you're making other people rich. So, Kudzi, you found me on YouTube. Yep. And then you reached out and said, "Look, you know." Could I mentor you and get you on board with the with the uh, contracts inside of things? And that's where it that's where it started, wasn't it? That's so, where it began. Yeah. Yeah. So just to take the time back. Um, so I met you back in October, I think. Yeah. So I was in my head 2021, October 2021. Yes. So yeah. in my head, I was thinking, you know, I've been I've been in DevOps engineer for the last four years, and the amount of money really that I've been getting does it really you know equate to how much skills i have so um, i yeah, started doing you weren't some... getting paid much mate were you i wasn't get... no i was not get... getting paid much no so i started looking for ways of going contracting but then within myself i was a bit nervous you know the anxiety of just going in, in it then um i did some research then i came across your youtube videos then I was like, you know, let me just take my chance. Let me see if I can just message him when he's LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> and surprisingly, I think was it the same day you actually go back to me, you know. I yeah, wish I was really happy. At the time I was on holiday when I spoke to you, I was actually in um, Wales. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 So then um then I think we arranged for a call. And then that's how we uh, started, really. You know, we spoke, we spoke on the phone. We really gave me valid, you know, like points of the benefits of going contracting. Sure. Yeah. Because we we broke it down, right? We broke it down to yeah. say, okay, yeah. it is that you're trying to achieve in your personal life. Yeah. And where you want to be able to be, where you need to be able long term. Yeah. And we we our strategy is. Well, get you rolling first into contracting, which is an inside R35 contract. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And then eventually we're going to, you know, be landing some outside roles outside R35. Because the market at the moment is, is like, it's like taboo for inside, outside R35 roles, isn't it? It's just it you and far between. But we needed you to get on board, get that higher paying bracket and some more interesting contracts. Mm -hmm. I say work. Get that underneath your belt and then go from there right mm. so i think i think one of the things so we started off probably first like me looking at your cv or should i say understand your goals and values yeah definitely you know understanding like what you want for you your family and what you want to achieve which is like to buy a house mm. get a reliable car that you want for, you, for your family because there's no point in working for all this money and then you're not actually rewarding yourself. But That's it. Yeah. Mm. And then basically, um, you know, getting paid what you're worth, really. I think that's what's ma mainly important. That was the most important thing, you know, like um, looking, well, looking in the market that the same skills that I have, I can be getting paid three, four times, you know, more than what I was currently on. So, yeah, that's, I think that was one of the main things. Like what you've said, you know, the goals of buying a house, buying, there was no way I was going to raise a deposit for a house being in a permanent position at all, you know? Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> that says a yeah. lot. Man. That, that yeah. says a lot, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think in terms of um, actually going contracted, that was one of the main motives, you know? Yeah. And like what you've said, we started planning things down, you know, breaking things down, uh, setting certain dates as well, like in, in a month's time, by this date, we want to achieve this and that, and which we did, you know, which really helped me a lot. Mm. So tell the people about that, because I think mm. a lot of people feel as though that when they're transitioning 
from being permanent to contracting mm. that and I hope you know the baby crying in the background will put you off mm-hmm. Mom, mom's with him but <laughs> that's all right yeah when when transitioning from permanent to contract was that mm. you know how you know was it scary and how long did it take I think so it took us what from this time we started speaking right I think Three, four or five months, I think, before that, in terms of yeah. the whole plan, before I actually entered into contracting. At first, I was actually, if I'll be honest, I was actually feeling anxious, you know, the nerves of thinking like I'll be expected a lot of me, you know, the expert, uh, being an expert, you know. Yeah. Um, but I think as we, obviously, each week I was talking to, you kind of reassured me that, you know what, you actually have the skills and those skills, you is this pretty much the same thing that you'll be doing really yeah you know yeah so in terms of that i would say i was quite nervous but by the time we finished the whole kind of not like finish as such but in terms of by the before i got into contracting i was feeling much more confident sure yeah after things that we had broken down you know the sets that i had to go and study the just looking at the market as well in terms of what's actually needed out there yeah yeah, that's good. And then, like today, mm. so on one of my videos I have on YouTube where I am um, telling people, look, if you need to transition from, you know, being a developer or looking to get into the rules of a contract or anything of the sort, I always say that you need to focus on the basics or the principles. <clears throat> Definitely. Of that particular product. Mm. And one of the things that we found was is that you apply for a role that had Terraform. At first you were mm. nervous, but I said, you already do ARM templating. And mm. the principles of that is what you need to carry forward for Terraform. Would you mm. say that's true? That's definitely true. I think like even from, you know, like the way I operate, I understand the basics, like what you've said, I understand the whole process behind the technology, you know? At the end of the day, it's still doing the same thing. So let's say if it was doing ARM templates to deploy XYZ infrastructure, right? Yeah. Terraform does pretty much the same thing. It will, it will only take you, let's say, a week. So when I first started to, within this role, uh, my last role was completely ARM templates. Okay. Within this role was Terraform, which only, because I understood the basics on how everything works behind the scenes. Sure. Terraform was fairly an alien language to me, but I was able to pretty much learn it within a week. You know, and now if you ask me to go back to arm templates, I'll probably doubt going back because I really really enjoy it, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, you know, in a week you learn Terraform. In a week, yeah. So but, the key thing is the basics, you know, the process behind the whole thing. Exactly. You know, yeah. the principles because mm-hmm. it's just like, say, for example, if you want to learn, if you are going to Zero DevOps and you got Jenkins, you know, and it's just like, okay, but the whole principle is, is that it's to deploy your code into application or infrastructure, what have you. That's all you need to be able to say and have the confidence to do it right. That's it. That definitely. Yeah. 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 And also playing around with it, you know. Yeah. Like for me, I was thinking, okay, when I, normally I would deploy, let's say, web app using an ARM template by doing this way. Let me see how I can replicate the same process using Terraform. Yeah. You know, so any advice to anyone who's watching there, you know, contracting is not as scary as what it seems or what people portray it to be. (laughs) (laughs) Not most definitely. I'm a witness when it comes to that. You know, I'm a living testament when it comes to that. Sure. So the best way is just to plan, you know, break your things down, um, understand the process, understand the fundamentals of how things work. Yep. Yeah. So, like, why? Tell people, well, which one would you prefer to, mm. now that you've transitioned from being permanent to contracting, and in a contract, you're doing technology that you don't necessarily know, mm. um, you've gained the confidence and skills to do it already, and, you know, well done for doing it in a week. What, Thank you, yeah. No worries. What, what would you tell people who are, you know, if you need a mentor, would you do it with a mentor or without a mentor? Um, I'll definitely do with a mentor. Like, you know, you've been a really 
could help. To be honest with you, I don't think if we hadn't had those mentoring sessions, I don't think, I, I think up to now I'd still delay it, you know, the whole process. Because I think when I sp first spoke to you, I was like, I'm thinking of going contracting in about a year's time. I just want to make sure I'm fully prepared for the next 12 months. Yeah. Then I think the first thing you said to me, like, dude, you've already got the skills. Yeah. You know, the main thing is just to have confidence within yourself. Yeah. Man. So I think the main key thing is confidence, you know, have confidence, yeah. have a belief, self-belief in your own skills, you know. And the whole thing, well, if I was to compare permanent and contracting, the projects are pretty much going to be the same thing. The only difference is you're going to get paid much higher than being permanent. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the reward for risk, Tensi, right, is is, mm. the pay, is well, it's the pay and meeting people and then also doing the type of work because the type of work that you get is more focused on a project, yeah. right? So tell people, don't don't give the figure because that's your business mm. and that, that's private for you. But when you receiving the money at the end of the week now, or even at the end of the month, how are you feeling? My, my feeling is I've never actually seen such a figure in my account before, you know? Ah. <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah, I've never seen this type of money at all, unless if it's like a loan or something, but yeah, I've never seen something like this. Just from, I didn't even know where to start from, you know, like I have the money. Okay, what do I do with it? Do I save? Do I spend? Because it's just a lot of it. Yeah. You know, and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we're talking about three, four times, the amount that I normally get a month, yeah. you know, and some of it is like way more than I would normally get a week. So it's the excitement of it, you know, that. How long um, have you been contracting now? So now it's, the, it's exactly a month. One month, man. Are you making three times? Three times. It's exactly a month. Yeah. Mm. And another thing I wanted to add is all. Yeah. So who, who, whoever is uh, looking to go contracting is whilst I'm on a contract, the one thing that going back to the way I said I've learned Terra from within a week, the whole learning experience, you know, it goes on a hundred. So it's you learn quick. Yeah. Because you have to deliver, obviously, you know, which is a benefit. You know, like for me, I know my next role, or if I ever uh, if I ever think of picking up another contract, now I have enough experience working with Terraform, even though if it's only been um the last month, you know. Yeah. So you learn quicker and like if you're on permanent. Permanent when you're on permanent, I can't I kind of feel like you relax a lot. Yeah. True. Yeah. Mm. But when it's contracting, it's just like you gotta deliver. Yeah. And that's because basically I I think I've told you this where it's like you're no longer seen as just an engineer, you have a client. That's it. And you don't want to disappoint that client because that client is basically there. To, for you to deliver a service because yep. you never know when you're going to go back, right? That makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And you want a good reference on all these things and delivery mm -hmm. work is essential. You know? Yeah. And the whole process is just bam, bam, bam. But it's enjoyable. Like I'm actually enjoying it more than when I was on permanent. Wow. It's the, you know, it's the adrenaline of making, like I remember uh, during weekends, right? I'll be like, ah, oh, I can't. I can't think of going back to work on a Monday, you know, it's the, like the dread, you know, I'm dreading going back. But with this one here, I'm like, okay, you know, I just left this um, on Friday. I know on Monday, I'm going to do this, this, and that, you know, then yeah. I've got a few meetings, which I'll need to speak to these people. So yeah. the whole thing is quite adrenaline, you know? Mm. Yeah. That's, it's, it, it keeps, it gets you excited. It wants you to go. And when I say go, it gets you out of bed. You know, you're going and you're you're progressing and stuff like that because now yeah. your, your mindset's changed, hasn't it? Definitely. Yeah. My mindset's definitely changed. Yeah. I feel like I've grown a lot uh, within this wow. last month than the whole year I was on my permanent position. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. It says a lot, man. Can see. It says, yeah. It says a lot. And to be fair, like, you know, it's all thanks to you, you know. Uh, like what you. I've said, yeah, what I've said came back. If I didn't met you, I probably would have delayed this whole process. Not because I'm just delaying it for no reason, but it's the anxiety of going into it. Yeah, it's the unknown, so, isn't it? It's, it's the unknown. So having a mentor is definitely a good thing, you know. I'm glad that I delivered. Yeah. And it's just like it's been a pleasure working with you. I mean, you know, we we 
we started at the right time is my mm. opinion because basically it was like after December stuff right before April yeah and where you landed your job but it was it was just a few tweaks on your CV apply knowing I think also we had to like well I give you the information to like how to also talk to recruiters as well yeah because that's essential like for training your confidence because at the end of the day they want reassurance that you can do the job and be in the contract for the time of the contract and probably get extended yeah because it's their benefit as well you know which goes back to like what, what i said before Wait, so when you're doing contracting right it's not it's not just your technical skills now it's also your soft skills you know like you speak i spend about 40 40 percent of my time in meetings you know Wow. <laughs> yeah and the other 60 percent is actually me doing the implementation of what we speak about in these meetings yeah you know so again so if you look in terms of the benefit to yourself it's constant learning yeah yeah which i would completely advise everyone who was on permanent or who's thinking of moving into contracting to just go for it you know yeah yeah because we broke it down right Mm. so the way how i give you confidence was not only in yourself and your ability because you got the skills already yeah is, is that we broke it down and we said right if we work for six months mm. in a contract role and compare that to like how you were in a permanent role the money that you receive in six months was the equivalent of what you work for 18 months in a permanent role in the permanent role yeah which means that you could afford to have mm. up to six months, really, without a contract, still yep. money in the bank, looking for your next role within, you know, the other, the additional four months. Which, to be honest with you, that risk means that it's quite small. Yeah, that no, no, it makes sense. And like what, what we said before as well, within that six months, let's say if you decide to take um, some time out, you can even pick up a course you know enhance yourself within that time and as a contractor you always need to have more tools in your toolbox you know right so again you've got the money covered for the whole someone like what you've said being a permanent that will take you 18 months like being contract i think to equate the same amount of money yeah you're actually well she in perm yeah that's crazy man mm -mm. so but the main thing is we had a bigger picture because as part of doing the mentoring for you to move from permanent contract, we also talked about investment as well. Yeah. Right. So the bigger goal, and just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, it's not just about contracting because at the end of the day, as you heard from Kazi, is, is that you can afford to take the time off, but at the same time, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, well, I need the money coming in. Mm -hmm. So we talk about going for property, investing in like cash for exchange. These are the things that I can help with. And that's, and that's the, next, the next step. But I think what I'm saying is, is that it's best for us to have in the mindset the real ultimate goal or thinking big. Remember the book that I suggested? Yeah. So that you can keep that desire to keep going because you, you don't want to relax because if you relax, that's it. I yeah. think I think for some people this is this will be the right time for them to relax. But you know, if you're driven, if you know exactly what you want, if you set some goals, you know, like investments, the co uh, constant cash flow, you know, coming in, yeah. you know, we're talking about the long terms here. Yeah, you know, so contracting is more like um, how can I put this? It's more like a vehicle which is gonna get you to your destination. It's the, it's not the actual destination itself, but it's the it's just a channel for you to get to where you wanna be. Yes. You know, because the good thing about it, you're going to be getting money, you know, as much money as you can. And that will drive to fund whatever you need in the long term. Now that's great, man, Kazi. Thank you. I don't, you know, it's been a pleasure. Um, I know that we be messaging on WhatsApp and stuff. But I'm always, you know, a phone call away. Um, but yeah, we'll catch up after this, man. But thank you. Uh, thank you so much Jude, for your help you know yeah again you've yeah. been fantastic yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a pleasure man because basically what it is is that at no point I, i'll tell you that i you're probably the 10th person that i've got over this line 
And there's three elements about you that basically help get you from where you were to where you are now and then keep going. And that is you listen, right? Okay. You, and you, you have trust within the words I was saying, which basically is, is essential because if you're not trusting and doubting all the time, you've got procrastination, right? Yeah. At the point that you procrastinate, you just heard my recommendation and we executed every single time. And we did closer and closer to goals. And I think thirdly, you just took action. You know, those are the three yeah. things, really. Yeah, thanks a lot for that. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. So no problem, man. Glad to be yeah. part of it, you know, and see you and we'll keep going. Ah, uh, nice one. <laughs> thanks a lot, dude. <laughs> no worries, baby. See you, bye. Yeah. See you, bye. See you, man, bye.